Hey, so we got a special treat, man. We got the real Greg Hackett here, man. The senior. <laughs> yeah, Greg Hackett Sr. And, of course, you know, GHB TV. What up, Greg? <laughs> Little uh, hammer hands. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Greg is, is, is a fan favorite on his channel and just a fan favorite in boxing the internet, period. Like, was he always a character growing up? Always. Um, but he was, uh, he was always different. Um, very mannerable. Um, didn't like a lot of sugar. Uh, didn't like a lot of candy. Um, I tell him to go to bed, he'd say, okay, daddy. You know, you hear his voice now. It was just a smaller, raspier version of it. And uh, he would get up and go to bed. And no problem. Wasn't one of them kids that would whine and all that. He told you what he wanted, what he needed, and that was it. When did you know he was a fighter? When he used to terrorize Germantown. <laughs> and he wasn't a, G was never a bully. I call him G, because um, the way I explain it to people is me saying my name back to myself just sounds strange, so I always called him G. Um, he was never a bully. He always stood up for people that were getting bullied or, you know, people, when people were doing wrong stuff, he would, you know, he would check them. He'd call you on your stuff, and he was always like that. He didn't go around starting trouble. But, um, you know, most of the time, he was damn sure finishing. Now, that, that's kind of like a parallel into now because Greg just fought a 6'6", 300-pound dude on one day's notice. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, he's always, he's always been determined. And um, size never mattered to him. And one of the things, one of the things I always taught him from when he was little, even though I wasn't always around in his life, but you know, I tried to give him some good things when he was longer, not, uh, younger. And um, I always told him, I said, it's not that it's hard. You're just learning something new. And um, he just goes hard. And it doesn't make a difference. He's not intimidated easily. I don't know if, if at all, but um, he's not intimidated easily. He loves challenge. Um, and as he's getting older, I'm noticing where he's a lot more vocal instead of a lot more active. And he's learning, you know, a good transition with those two. As far as his boxing career, do you, you know, you know how our parents are, um, do you want him to continue or you want him to make a full-time transition into coaching? I want him to do whatever he's happy at. Um, Whatever he wants to do, I support him 100%. The times that I haven't been around, you know, um, I've always thought of him. Um, I always hoped that he could, you know, he knew he could always access me if he needed to. However, whatever he, he wants to do, I want him to do. He's always um, made, he's made really good decisions. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate enough that none of my children um, are, are trouble making kids. You know, I mean, most of them are adults now, but none of them are bad people. All of them are, you know, skilled and successful at what they do. So, um, you know, he comes from good stock and whatever it is that he wants to do, I support him 100%. Um, I love to watch him do whatever he does because, I mean, in our blood, we just try to be the best at whatever it is that we're doing. See you later. And you be safe, bro. Uh, we try to be the best, at, you know, at whatever it is that we're doing. And in training, watching him work with his fighters, he, he pulls the best out of them. You know, he observes what's going on with them and he goes ham. Um, if he was to fight, it would be hard, honestly, I think, to find somebody that he would listen to uh, because he is so strong-headed and opinionated. He wants to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. <laughs> so. Therefore, I think, it, you know, to answer the question, I think he would be a more successful trainer. I know he, I, listen, he's going to be, first of all, let me, let, me, let me put a North Philly stamp on this. My son is only 36 years old. By the time he's 46, I mean, he's already a problem now. By the time he's 46, it's going to really be a problem. And his name is going to be synonymous with the greats as far as when it comes to training. So I said that today, December 5th, 2022. So, you know, was it 2032? You know, yo, he going to be in the books. So. Now, Greg, yeah. like you said, you're 36 years old. Yeah. Technically, you're supposed to be carrying a spit bucket. 
yeah. as far as age goes, you're supposed <laughs> to be, yeah, you're supposed to be the intern to the 60, 70 year old man that's like, get a rock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, like, when did, how old were you when you first became a head trainer? Um, 26. Um, Anthony Abruzzese from South Philly. He moved to Chicago. He left me with a three and one record, three knockouts or two knockouts. He had two knockouts, and um, that was my first like real fighter that I was started to develop. But he, because his family, he moved his family to Chicago. So you know, what I mean, I moved on and did what I had to do. But I don't know. It, I think it has to do with the environment in the city. When you come from the city of uh, like Philadelphia, where we got a rich boxing history, you learn a lot early. So depending on how you take in the, the, the information and if you're able to give it out, then you can be a coach. And I mean, everybody, a lot of the coaches, believe it or not, in Philly started coaching early. Fred Jenkins had a world champion at 26. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not like an unheard of thing. It's just, you know what I mean? It's my time now. You know what I mean? Me and a couple Definitely. of the coaches. So. No, it's your time. So it's like. Don't stay your time. It, it happens. It happens in cities like this, where the coaches come yeah. out. Early. It's funny that you bring that up because now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. you, Fred Jenkins, Rasheem Jefferson, yeah. Mr. Bosey said he started in his twenties. Yeah, Moses, old head Moses. Um, there's a lot of coaches, but it's because of the history. The old heads that come through here, or that's from here, and they gave the teachings out for the ones who paid attention and have somewhat of an imagination is able to develop their own style, coaching style, and then, you know what I mean, because you have kids and stuff like that, you start experimenting with it, experimenting with it early, and, you know, you start coaching. And can I say something? Go ahead. His intellectual library when it comes to boxing is incredible. Just to hear him rattle off the information that he retains is incredible. I don't, I've never, me personally, and I've watched boxing, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. I like drag racing, offshore speedboats, and monster trucks, but him watching him and listening to him, the information, there's very few questions that you've asked him that he doesn't have the answer to. Mm. And um, I've, I've watched you, and I appreciate you, and, you know, giving him this, this, this format. Um, it's incredible just to see your child at this point, at this level, and just know that he's getting greater step by step because he's been, um, oh, he always likes to use pedigree. Well, he has some pedigree, <laughs> you know, and um, his mom's got a right hand that she wouldn't believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got a right hand that she wouldn't believe, I'm tell you. But um, to hear him say the things that he says and, you know, and his integrity and his, his honesty, you know, and his, he doesn't have malice and callous you know, and he's always been like that. You know, he's just an old soul. And um, that's part of the reason I'm sure that he's so young at what he does and so good at it at the same time. Yo, I can say this from, you know, the bottom of my heart. Greg has been instrumental in my groove, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I can name about like, like six or seven people that, as far as like in, in the boxing world, mm -hmm. has literally helped me like launch my shit. And I'm very grateful. Man. And, and we are too, bro. Yeah. 